Welcome to Breaking Free of Toxic Positivity. Today we'll be using True Unity to break free of this common trap. If you haven't seen any of these videos before, check out True Unity Explained um, so you know how this technique works. If you want another common trap video, just leave a comment and say what is your most common block. So, toxic positivity is a very common trap to fall into. We all want to be positive, stay positive, show positivity, but of course this can turn toxic when we don't actually listen to what we're really feeling. It's great when instead of a problem you see a challenge, but if you don't feel that way, you're just holding up a mask, showing everybody how positive you are, but inside and internally you're wrecked with guilt, sadness, fear, anger that is not being expressed. And when that happens, you're not being authentic, you're not being true to yourself, you can't get the support you need, and sooner or later you're going to crash. So this is a very common trap because everywhere we hear stay positive, be positive, but true healthy positivity is actually flowing from being in a healthy space with all of our emotions. Then we really are positive in a healthy fashion without suppressing all those things that we don't want to see. So as always, we step into this focus, which is our positive focus, which is healthy positivity. And if you stand here and you might feel a blockage in your throat area, there might be some emotions that you're not expressing. Uh, you might feel it in your stomach area where you might feel uh, that you're not processing emotions correctly. You might have an aha moment of the emotion that you most dislike that keeps you from uh, being your positive self. But this is where we're going to be really honest and true to ourselves. So we need to embrace all of your emotions so we can listen to their messages, process them and step into life in a healthy and positive way. So let's put our one hand on our heart to feel these emotions and one on our stomach area so they can be processed and take a step forward with me into embracing all emotions. I embrace all my emotions. And as you stand here embracing all your emotions in a healthy and positive way, you might notice that you're a little frustrated. You might have a wave of sadness that wants to be expressed. You might feel something angry coming up or something you're anxious about and just embrace it. Just allow it to be here. And when we do it, it naturally starts to process. If there's something that you need to process, you can make a kind of processing movement for yourself, or you can acknowledge it out loud by saying, I'm sad right now, and just allow it to be. So if you process some emotions here, that's fine. And now that you embrace all of them, let's take another step into actually listening to what needs to be done. So again, hands on the heart and on the stomach. I listen to what needs to be done. And when you do that and you're in this focus of healthy positivity, you might start to feel a lot more free, a lot more happy and to realize being angry is not the end of the world. You might just need to set some clearer boundaries. Being sad is okay. There might be something you desire that you don't have and that you need to work with. Just stand and feel how great it feels to be positive because it's true for you. So now that we embrace them and we listen to the messages, of course, the final step is to process all your emotions so you can be in a happy and healthy space. Because if everything is processed, we have a profound sense of peace and belonging. And that is where we need to be. I process all my emotions. So if you feel now very calm and happy in this positive emotional space, well done. 
congratulations on breaking free with me. If there's still something there, you can always ask me for a free intake or redo this video or check out any of the other breaking free videos which have other common traps. And um, I love to hear from you how you like this video. And to do so, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'd love to see you if you check out the website www.flowofmiracles.com.